course, as you guys know, Ben sustained a concussion in the game. Give you a little background in terms of what happened with him uh, after that. Monday morning, yesterday morning, we brought him in, and uh, he took a battery of neurological tests uh, done with our medical staff. Um, he was asymptomatic. He was fine. He passed all those tests. He felt fine. Uh, so given that information, uh, we can anticipate him uh, practicing and, and preparing to play uh, this week, provided uh, he remains to be symptom-free and he remains to feel fine. I met with Ben yesterday. Uh, he felt normal. He felt fine. Uh, the battery of tests that he took uh, showed that he showed no symptoms. So we'll continue to monitor his, uh, his condition and where he is on a day-to-day -day basis and let that guide our decision making. But as I sit here today, uh, he's symptom free and feeling fine. So we should anticipate Ben practicing tomorrow. Mike, officially, just for clarity, did Ben officially suffer a concussion? It, it could be characterized as a mild concussion. I, I hesitate in terms of using the word mild because concussions are, are not anything to be taken mildly. Uh, he was symptomatic. Uh, at the game, uh, that's why after the game I said he was down with concussion-like symptoms. Uh, when we were able to, to do um, appropriate testing yesterday, uh, he was symptom-free. He felt fine. So uh, we're proceeding uh, with caution, but we will continue to monitor him uh, each and every day this week as we push forward toward game day uh, because if any symptoms uh, reoccur or he feels less than fine, then, of course, we're going to act appropriately.